Hello there, YouTubers! Do you know what this might be? Well, of course you do, because you've read the title of the video. This is a little TV taken apart, as you can see. And uh, this is a Sony TV. And uh, so, of course, right there, not sure we can see it because it's rather dark. Down there it, of course, says Sony Trinitron. This is a little TV from uh, 1993, which I found at a thrift store a while ago. And uh, it has been taken apart uh, because I wanted to clean it, and uh, it definitely was uh, worthwhile to uh, do that because it was like a 5 millimeter thick layer of dust on top of everything. So uh, cleaned that off. Also cleaned that uh, back part of the housing, so uh, now I can go and uh, put that back on there. And here we have the TV with the back cover back on. To put it back on you just have to put in two screws, one right there, one on the other side right there. And uh, then it does have some cheap clips on the bottom, right there and right there. Had a very hard time getting those to come out of there. That's definitely kind of a cheap construction. It's a Sony Trinitron Color TV, model KVM1420D. There's a big Sony logo right there, <laughs> which looks very, very cool, right next to this uh, this uh, thing, which um, I think is part of that uh, the molding process. For that uh, plastic cover, like you know, <laughs> you have that uh, nice big logo, and then you have this cheap thing right there. That's kind of a stupid thing, but um, anyway, previous owners definitely were very, very organized people. As you can see, the original price was 498 mark, which is around about 250 euro, which uh, which is a lot. This thing really wasn't cheap. That's for sure. And they bought it on the 14th of May, 1993. And, uh, of course, I got this at a thrift store. And the great thing about uh, getting things at a thrift store is that um, most of the times you actually do get the remote control along with the unit. That uh, Usually that does not happen at the dump. Here's the remote control. That also had a bunch of stickers on there. One right there saying television, which is kind of pointless because it says TV right there. And uh, it has a, had a big sticker on the back. And on that sticker, they, uh, they put on every date um, of every time they changed the batteries in this remote control. Like from all the way from 1993 until I think 2003 or so. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Never seen that before. I mean, who cares for when the batteries were changed? Anyway, um, on the back we do get uh, the antenna input. This does have an analog TV tuner, and I guess it's also uh, cable TV compatible. It has a cheap, stupid scar jack right there. I don't like this system. Um, some people have asked why I don't like it. I don't like that system because it's absolutely unreliable. It's just a very, very bad construction. The cables are way too stiff and way too thick and way too heavy to stay in these jacks reliably. They always fall out, which um, leads to all kinds of stupid problems. And uh, usually it takes a while until you uh, notice that it's just uh, loose cable causing that problem. Like. Uh, we once had no sound on our TV, and we were uh, we were like, "What is going on there?" But uh, you know, it was just that stupid jack, and we were, we were. I think we were just about to uh, bring the TV into a shop to uh, have it repaired. Do get a little organizing thing right there on the back, and uh, that's it pretty much. And there we have it. Renatron, made by Sony. And uh, on the front it does have uh, some uh, 
things has a power switch, which is actually a real power switch. It does cut off the power. Has a, what is that? That's like a multi thing to select the function that uh, these two plus and minus buttons are then going to uh, execute. I know it's very dark in here. Got to get that uh, light up onto the ceiling. Uh, down in here, whew, you can't see those at all. We have uh, another AV input, this time with uh, proper RCA jacks. <laughs> Using the record LED to uh, light this up. There you can see them. Only mono audio, of course. And we also have uh, right there is a headphone jack. That's all hidden behind this little door. And uh, the speaker is sitting up here and uh, that's uh, that's a pretty small one, should I say. That is a pretty small one. But uh, anyway, you also get a little mounting hole for an antenna. And uh, there are the vents. I cleaned those. You can see that in comparison with the speaker grill, which is kind of filthy. Got to see if I can clean it. I mean, of course, I don't want to drop any any liquids into that speaker. <laughs> make it sound even worse but uh, anyway that's it so now got to do some uh, some more cleaning and uh, then this TV should be ready to go again well just a quick look this is the TV after the cleaning as you can see using a toothbrush an old one of course and some window cleaner I managed to uh, clean the speaker grill up pretty well. Well, that's almost looking like new. <laughs> and uh, all the other parts as well. And as you can see, I got a lot of this, uh, this kind of black miniature dust off of the TV that, um, that uh, is being attracted by the high voltage in it. So, um... That thing is now ready to go for uh, another couple of years.